Reinforcement Learning, an introduction by Richard S. Sutton and Andrew G. Barto is a comprehensive guide to the field of reinforcement learning. The book covers all the fundamental concepts of reinforcement learning, including the mathematical foundations, algorithms, and applications in various domains. The authors, Sutton and Bardo, are world-renowned experts in reinforcement learning, and their book is considered the definitive text in the field. The book is divided into three parts. Part 1 introduces the basic concepts of reinforcement learning, including the terminology and framework. Part 2 covers the various algorithms used in reinforcement learning, such as dynamic programming, Monte Carlo methods, and temporal difference learning. Part 3 discusses advanced topics such as generalization and function approximation, and applications of reinforcement learning in various domains such as robotics, gaming, and finance. Part 1, Introduction to Reinforcement Learning Chapter 1, Introduction The book begins by introducing the concept of reinforcement learning which is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to interact with an environment by receiving rewards or punishments for its actions. The authors describe the basic components of a reinforcement learning system, including the agent, the environment, and the reward signal. They also discuss the difference between reinforcement learning and other types of machine learning such as supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Chapter 2, Evaluative Feedback in Chapter 2, the authors introduce the concept of evaluative feedback, which is the basis of reinforcement learning. Evaluative feedback is a signal that tells the agent whether its actions were good or bad. The authors describe the different types of evaluative feedback, including episodic tasks and continuing tasks. They also introduce the concept of value functions, which are used to estimate the expected return of a state or action. Chapter 3, The Reinforcement Learning Problem Chapter 3 introduces the reinforcement learning problem and the terminology used in the field. The authors describe the different types of reinforcement learning problems, including prediction problems and control problems. They also introduce the concepts of policies, value functions, and models. Chapter 4, Dynamic Programming Chapter 4 introduces the first set of reinforcement learning algorithms, known as dynamic programming methods. Dynamic programming methods are used to solve reinforcement learning problems by iteratively computing the value function. The authors describe the Bellman equation, which is used to update the value function. They also introduce two dynamic programming algorithms, known as policy evaluation and policy iteration. Chapter 5 Monte Carlo Methods Chapter 5 introduces a second set of reinforcement learning algorithms, known as Monte Carlo Methods. Monte Carlo Methods are used to estimate the value function by sampling episodes from the environment. The authors describe the first visit and every visit Monte Carlo Methods, as well as the on-policy and off-policy methods. Chapter 6, Temporal Difference Learning Chapter 6 introduces a third set of reinforcement learning algorithms, known as temporal difference TD, methods. TD methods combine the ideas of dynamic programming and Monte Carlo methods by bootstrapping from the current estimate of the value function. The authors describe the TD0 algorithm, which is the simplest TD algorithm, as well as the TD lambda algorithm, which is a more general TD algorithm. Chapter 7 and step bootstrapping. Chapter 7 introduces the concept of end step bootstrapping, which is used to combine the ideas of TD and Monte Carlo methods. The authors describe the end step TD algorithm, which uses end steps of experience to update the value function. They also introduce the TD lambda algorithm with eligibility traces, which is a more efficient version of the TD lambda algorithm. Chapter 8 planning and learning with tabular methods. Chapter 8 discusses the difference between planning and learning in reinforcement learning. Planning refers to the process of using a model of the environment to simulate possible future states and actions, while learning refers to the process of using experience to update the value function. 
The authors describe the differences between model-based and model-free methods, and introduce several planning and learning algorithms, including DynaQ, Monte Carlo Tree Search, and Sarsa. Part 2, Reinforcement Learning Algorithms. Chapter 9, On Policy Prediction with Approximation. Chapter 9 introduces the concept of function approximation, which is used to handle large state spaces in reinforcement learning. The authors describe the linear function approximation, which is used to estimate the value function using a linear combination of features. They also introduce the gradient descent algorithm, which is used to update the weights of the linear function approximation. Chapter 10, On Policy Control with Approximation. Chapter 10 extends the ideas of function approximation to the control problem in reinforcement learning. The authors describe the on-policy control problem, which involves finding the optimal policy using function approximation. They introduce several algorithms, including Sarsa Lambda with linear function approximation and the actor-critic algorithm. Chapter 11, Off-Policy Methods with Approximation. Chapter 11 introduces the concept of off-policy learning, which involves learning from a policy different from the one being evaluated. The authors describe the difference between non-policy and off-policy methods, and introduce several off-policy learning algorithms, including Q-learning and Sarsa Lambda. Chapter 12, Eligibility Traces. Chapter 12 extends the ideas of TD learning to function approximation using eligibility traces. Eligibility traces are used to keep track of the contribution of each state and action to the value function, and can be used to update the weights of the function approximation. The authors describe the TD Lambda algorithm with eligibility traces, and introduce several other algorithms that use eligibility traces. Chapter 13 policy gradient methods. Chapter 13 introduces a different approach to reinforcement learning, known as policy gradient methods. Policy gradient methods involve directly optimizing the policy rather than the value function. The authors describe the gradient descent algorithm, which is used to update the policy parameters, and introduce several policy gradient algorithms, including reinforce and actor critic. Chapter 14, Psychology. Chapter 14 discusses the connection between reinforcement learning and psychology. The authors describe the different theories of reinforcement in psychology, and how they relate to the concepts in reinforcement learning. They also discuss the implications of reinforcement learning for understanding human behavior. Part 3, Advanced Topics. Chapter 15, Multi-Armed Bandits. Chapter 15 introduces the concept of multi-armed bandits, which are a simplified version of the reinforcement learning problem. Multi-armed bandits involve choosing actions from a set of options with unknown rewards. The authors describe several algorithms for solving multi-armed bandit problems, including the Epsilon Greedy algorithm and the Upper Confidence Bound UCB, algorithm. Chapter 16, Contextual Bandits. Chapter 16 extends the concept of multi-armed bandits to contextual bandits, where the rewards are dependent on additional information or context. The authors describe the difference between contextual bandits and standard multi-armed bandits, and introduce several algorithms for solving contextual bandit problems. Chapter 17, Monte Carlo Methods in Reinforcement Learning. Chapter 17 discusses the use of Monte Carlo methods in reinforcement learning. The authors describe the difference between first visit and every visit Monte Carlo methods, and introduce several extensions to Monte Carlo methods, including the Monte Carlo tree search algorithm. Chapter 18, Temporal Difference Methods in Reinforcement Learning. Chapter 18 discusses the use of temporal difference, TD methods in reinforcement learning. The authors describe the difference between TD and Monte Carlo methods, and how TD methods can be used for online learning. They introduce several TD algorithms, including Sarsa and Q-learning, and discuss the connection between TD methods and neural networks. Chapter 19, Deep Learning for Reinforcement Learning. 
Chapter 19 discusses the use of deep learning in reinforcement learning. The authors describe the use of deep neural networks to approximate the value function and the policy function, and introduce several deep reinforcement learning algorithms, including deep Q networks, DQN, and asynchronous advantage actor critic, A3C. They also discuss the challenges of training deep neural networks for reinforcement learning, including instability and exploration exploitation trade-offs. Chapter 20 Policy Search Chapter 20 introduces the concept of policy search, which involves directly searching for the optimal policy rather than using value function approximation. The authors describe several methods for policy search, including hill climbing, cross-entropy method, and natural gradient. They also discuss the advantages and disadvantages of policy search compared to other reinforcement learning methods. Chapter 21 Applications and Case Studies Chapter 21 discusses several applications of reinforcement learning, including robotics, game playing, and autonomous vehicles. The authors describe several case studies, including the use of reinforcement learning for controlling a simulated helicopter and for playing the game of backgammon. They also discuss the limitations and challenges of applying reinforcement learning in real-world applications. Chapter 22, Frontiers Chapter 22 discusses the current frontiers of reinforcement learning research. The authors describe several areas of active research, including multi-agent reinforcement learning, meta-learning, and unsupervised reinforcement learning. They also discuss the potential for reinforcement learning to solve complex problems in fields such as healthcare and finance. Overall, Reinforcement Learning, an introduction by Richard S. Sutton and Andrew G. Bardo provides a comprehensive introduction to the field of reinforcement learning, covering both the theory and practice of the subject. The book is suitable for both beginners and advanced researchers in the field, and includes numerous examples, exercises, and case studies. With its clear writing style and broad coverage of the subject, reinforcement learning, an introduction is an essential resource for anyone interested in reinforcement learning. Chapter 23, Outlook Chapter 23 offers the author's outlook on the future of reinforcement learning. The authors discuss the potential for reinforcement learning to play a significant role in the development of artificial intelligence and the possible implications for society. They also address some of the ethical considerations that arise with the use of reinforcement learning, such as bias and fairness. Chapter 24, Bibliographical and Historical Remarks Chapter 24 provides an extensive bibliography of works referenced throughout the book, as well as historical remarks on the development of reinforcement learning. The authors trace the history of the field from early work in psychology and animal learning to the development of formal mathematical models and the current state-of-the-art methods. In conclusion, reinforcement learning, an introduction is a valuable resource for anyone interested in the field of reinforcement learning. The book provides a thorough and comprehensive introduction to the theory and practice of reinforcement learning covering a wide range of topics from basic concepts to advanced algorithms and applications. The clear and concise writing style, coupled with numerous examples, exercises, and case studies, makes the book accessible to both beginners and advanced researchers in the field. The book is not only an excellent resource for students and researchers, but also for practitioners who want to apply reinforcement learning to solve real-world problems. With the increasing availability of data and computing power, reinforcement learning is poised to play an increasingly important role in fields such as robotics, finance, healthcare, and gaming. As such, reinforcement learning, an introduction is a must-read for anyone who wants to stay at the forefront of this exciting and rapidly evolving field. Are you fascinated by the idea of machines learning from experience, just like humans do? Do you want to explore the exciting world of reinforcement learning, and discover how it can be applied to solve real-world problems? Look no further than Reinforcement Learning, an introduction by Richard S. Sutton and Andrew G. Bardo.
This comprehensive book provides a clear and concise introduction to the theory and practice of reinforcement learning, from basic concepts to advanced algorithms and applications. With numerous examples, exercises, and case studies, this book is suitable for both beginners and advanced researchers in the field. Don't miss out on this essential resource, by reinforcement learning, an introduction today and join the exciting journey of reinforcement learning.